Hello and welcome to another The Rain Zone channel video. Today we will give a preview of the stage 2 of the Tour, Tour de France 2023. Uh, after a thrilling stage 1 uh, where we have uh, Adam Yates in yellow, uh, Pogacar gaining some um, 4 bonus seconds on uh, Vingegaard, we move to stage uh, 2, the longest stage of the race, with uh, almost 209 kilometers from Vitoria Gasteiz to San Sebastian. So again, in the Basque country, uh, we have a first uh, intermediate sprint after 40 kilometers of some uh, flat terrain. So I don't expect a breakaway to form uh, until after the sprint. Uh, today we saw that uh, most of the sprinters went for the points, but uh, notably Van Aert and Jakobsen didn't. So Jakobsen is probably not going for the green, he's just mm, trying to save his energy for the sprints uh, and to survive the mountains and Van Aert didn't go for the sprint so that's very interesting so probably he's not going for green also he was really bad in the sprint in the end so not in the form he was last year uh, then we have uh, some five categorized climbs uh, i expect similar breakaway to today some uh, french teams total energy um, arkea coffee this maybe lot of destiny uh, you know X of course maybe Abrahamson will go in a breakaway try to try, try to take the KM jersey a lot of points today as well uh, called Dudana, Cot does Tiria, Cot Alkizia and then in the last uh, some 50 kilometers we have a uh, uh, rather small climb uh, Cot de Goruce but in the end we have the famous uh, Jaiski Bell climb uh, from the um, Classica San Sebastian 8.1 kilometers at 5.3 percent and bonus seconds on top of it so um, probably we will see the breakaway getting caught before the climb and uh, I think Pogacar going for the for the bonus seconds maybe uh, the, the crest or the summit is some 16 kilometers from from the finish but it is a slightly longer descent than uh, today's so after the descent there will be some seven eight kilometers of a flat terrain uh, maybe we will see the same scenario as tomorrow. Uh, here we see, uh, as yesterday, here we see Iskibel climb. So it's uh, really steep in the end, some almost 8%. But I don't expect uh, a bigger gap than today, or probably even less. So maybe Van der Poel, Girmay, uh, Van Aert can survive e easily and, uh, or rather, with a less um, with a less time gap, so they can come back on the descent. Uh, I expect a, a, a bunch sprint, some maybe 30 to 40 guys, and uh, maybe one art will win. But uh, what, let's see what the the bookies say. Yes, they have one art as the favorite at 3.75, Wonderful at seven, Girma at 15. So maybe that's a really good odds for Bini. Uh, he's, he, he was in a great form in Dofi, oh yeah, sorry, in the Swiss. He he won against Van Aert, uh, Magnus Kort at 20. Um, I don't really fancy his chances. Mats Pedersen, maybe he can survive, but we saw, he, saw him dropping uh, early also here and in the Giro. Fred Wright is a good option. Uh, Alex Aramburu in his home country can also be a good option. Uh, Mohoric, I don't think that uh, he can repeat his Milano Sanremo win here. Corbin Strong, now he was really strong today. Uh, some like he was in the second group, but. Uh, with the gun sprint, uh, for sure he will be in contention tomorrow. And then we have Pogacar, Philip, Philips, and, and uh, other sprinters and uh, GC guys. So maybe I think uh, like uh, Bini is, is the best option at 15. You can try. But uh, let's see the weather. It's going to be like a bit rainy in the morning. But by the time they reach San Sebastian, it's probably going to be uh, dry roads or just a bit of a damp road so nothing important and uh, the wind will be from the northwest that means it will be a headwind going into the san sebastian as we can see here is the finish line and uh, here is the road where they f where they are coming to the finish so it will be headwind uh, i i don't expect that uh, a group can stay tomorrow a lot of guys will be in contention some will probably with the with the teammate maybe van der Poel and philips and uh, van aert with a lot of guys from jumbo uh, this finish suits him much much more than than today's uh, beanie probably will have someone to work with him uh, corbin strong will have uh, someone from israel for sure but we expect uh, a very interesting stage uh, so thank you all for watching, like, share, subscribe, comment and uh, have a great day. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye.